Hello from MindPads. TOK essay topic number two. More data is always helpful in knowledge production. KQ1. What is the role of data in the production of knowledge? As Russell Ackoff, a system theorist and professor of organizational change explains, data in itself is raw. Data has no meaning and significance beyond its existence in itself. The information is the data that is given meaning and processed to be potentially useful. Further a step ahead, knowledge is deterministic application and making sense of data and information with a known intent to answer the how questions. To read more about this discussion, please visit mindpads.org. KQ number two. To what extent is our understanding and knowledge dependent on data? The theoretical models exist to explain, understand, and eventually predict the mechanisms of our world. When we are data poor, like in fossil studies, particle physics, or astronomy, we essentially depend on a good theory. But when we have copious amounts of data, we have the opportunity to work with data even without a strong theory to back it up. Also, there may not exist models or theories for everything. There need not exist an all-encompassing explanation for events occurring in the complex and dynamic setting. The events may just be the product of chaotic combinations existing without any reason. There may not always exist theories behind correlations of big data. KQ number three. Does too much data always result in information overload? Large amounts of data provide much more power to simple models, but not always. Too much of unrelated data not only makes it harder to analyze and interpret, it also affects the predictive ability of the model in the discussion. Individuals, as well as organizations, feel too overwhelmed by the sheer quantity of data to do anything useful with the information. Data dredging or blind application of data mining often leads to meaningless and invalid patterns. Data storage to fit in memory is an additional burden and cost to both humans and machines. Yes, having more pertinent data contributes to better planning and decision making, but all that abundant data may be junk and cleaning up and trashing the extra data is a wasteful expense. Failing to recognize the junk data in the model will give us spurious signals. KQ number four. In the case of more data, are there increased chances to find our convenient truths and ignore the remainder in the production of knowledge? In, 19, in the 1954 book, how to Lie with Statistics, Daryl Huff provides a brief illustrated account of interpretation of statistics outlining, drawing incorrect conclusions from errors. The book discusses popular themes of correlation does not imply causation and using random sampling, and how statistical graphs are often used to distort reality. In the case of more data, there is an increased opportunity to cherry pick the data points to show the confirmation of hypotheses or the desired result. But beside this, more data has a great chance of pointing the spurious correlations that may only be random noise. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. For the complete discussions of all these knowledge questions, please visit us at mindpads.org or write to us at mindpads.org at gmail.com.